You stand at the podium, making your interesting points about parking reform bill 27B to the town council. My god, you think you'll be able to get it passed? But across the room, your main opposition, Marjorie Sinclair, she looks furious. All of a sudden, her skin begins to peel back, revealing a reptilian face beneath. She lodges across the podium at you, dagger in hand. My god, the lizard people rule the town council. Will you be able to get your parking bill passed? Or are you on a mystery quest? <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to Mystery Quest. Today, we're playing a Powered by the Apocalypse scenario called Escape from Dino Island. Uh, it is a game created by Sam Tung and Sam Roberts, all about escaping from an island full of dinosaurs. If you're a supporter of Mystery Quest, then right now you can watch a video of character creation and us randomly rolling up the world that we're playing in. You can enjoy this series without it, but maybe you might enjoy a little bit of bonus extra footage. Anyway, on to the main adventure. We begin a helicopter flying across the South Pacific, making its way to a pinprick of an island. As it slowly gets closer, you see rolling mountains and lush jungle. The helicopter begins to set down in the middle of a large clearing, and the door slides open. Stepping out, our first guest to Dino Island, well, it's Ben. Uh, Hello. Who are you playing today, Ben? Um, today, I'm Dave. Dave, the uh, the discreet electrical contractor. I'm called in for dubious exotic projects. I'll build a secret lab. I'll install experimental machinery, and I'll ask no questions. Perfect. And followed closely behind you is the smaller frame of... <laughs> Sweet Sullivan. Yes, it's it's me, Casper the Friendly Child. <laughs> uh, he's a child, he's uh, 10 years old, uh, he's spectacled and uh, and is wearing uh, dungarees. Uh, and as we all know, can't wear dungarees over the age of eight. <laughs> oh, my God, he's yeah. illegal. Yeah, that's yeah. why he's had to go to near Costa Rica or something. <laughs> <laughs> but his parents just cannot get him out of these dungarees. And 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 Dave is his stepfather. Yeah, yeah, I've been called in. I can't turn this job down. It's too well paid, but it's also uh, the summer holidays. And I've got to take my kid with me because I can't find any bloody childcare. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> if anything happens to him, oh my God, his mum will kill me. Oh no, poor, poor Dave. I'll never hear the end of it. And uh, Hurry up, Casper. <laughs> <laughs> then last of all, stepping off of this helicopter is, it's Lady um, I am playing Natasha Romanensky today. I'm a doctor, uh, so I'm here to make sure everyone stays alive. But more importantly, I'm here to collect some dinosaur DNA because I have a keen interest in combining human DNA with dino dinosaur DNA. Uh, and doing weird experiments uh, like that. I'm very sort of clean cut, you know, pristine suit, uh, not a hair out of place, uh, quite sort of sensible um, and serious. Okay, great. So you guys have arrived on this Dino Island, which I don't think we actually have a name for. Uh, I I call it Dino Island because that's the name of the game. Um, <laughs> but uh, you are welcome. Oh, well, actually, wait. You can learn the name later on. Well, you can learn it at some point. Lizard Land. <laughs> lizard Land. <laughs> Legally distinct. <laughs> Legally distinct. <laughs> lizard Land. Lizard Land. <laughs> uh, so you step off of this helicopter and it is sweltering sweltering heat um you're in quite like a large clearing which is why the helicopter pilot has decided to sit down here and immediately you can see around you are there are dinosaurs there are triceratops um you have never seen a dinosaur before in your life or have you maybe you maybe you've seen one in real life maybe you haven't but you have taken this job on dino island because it's high paying and you're here to do, do some work Yes? Yes. Oh, yes. Sorry, <laughs> audio listeners. Yes. <laughs> As people just nod, nod at me. Uh, so you are here 
uh, because you are going to be paid a seven-figure salary Ooh. for whatever job that you are doing on Dino Island. Mm. And, uh, yeah, you can see these beautiful, beautiful herds of these peaceful, peaceful triceratops just oh. grazing away. And this peace, peaceful moment is broken almost immediately by you hear someone screaming. Oh. Screaming very loudly. And... This has startled some of the Triceratops. And then sort of almost between you and the helicopter, you see this figure running, absolutely running full sprint. And this is when we can introduce Laurie. Okay, so you see yeah, running full sprint in uh, a very tattered and battered, I think probably foam sort of mascot costume <laughs> with kind of double helix uh, style design crisscrossing across it. This big bushy beard and straggly hair sticking out of the face holes, big googly eyes on the top, uh, just sort of wobbling <laughs> as they go. Uh, this is Dino D-A-N, who was hired uh, by the company Industrial Cellular Genetics, or InCell, to uh, teach people about dinosaurs <laughs> and their genetics, but has been on this island for a while now. Mm. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Dino D-A-N, you know that stuff has gone wrong here. Uh, you might not know the full information about what has happened to this island, but uh, it is all going to heck. And uh, some, something, something's chasing you, Dan. Uh, wh what's chasing you? Uh, I'm being chased by uh, an iguanodon. An iguanodon. Yeah. Uh, let me just <laughs> <laughs> get my like a huge, like a huge, encyclopedia huge off. bipedal. Uh, Dinosaur. Um, the big thing about iguanodons was they have uh, a thumb spike, ah. um, which the Victorians, when they first discovered iguanodons, thought was a nose spike. So that's why the dinosaurs in Crystal Palace Park in London all have nose spikes on them because they thought they were iguanodons. That's how they thought the bones went together. It took a long time for them to realize that the spikes on the noses of the iguanodons are in the wrong place. They're meant to go on the thumbs. Hey. So this thing's chasing me, bearing down on me thumbs with its out. thumb spikes. <laughs> so is, is that what you're shouting as you're running away? By the way, this is an iguanodon. It's a common misconception. It's a common misconception, guys. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, are they uh, carnivores? Herbivores? They're herbivores. Okay, well it sounds like it isn't just one iguanodon. It's multiple iguanodons, and they are charging full these are large dinosaurs, and they are running straight at you three. Uh, we are immediately, you are in peril. Uh, if you do not get out of the way, um, you are going to be trampled by these iguanodons. What would you like to do? So we're just in an I'm, open clearing. So you're in a large open clearing. When, you, when the helicopter had landed, uh, you could see um, that there were fences around that lead into very dense jungle, but you didn't really kind of get a good lay of the land. Mm. You were sort of just busy talking amongst yourselves, excited about this. The helicopter pilot, who maybe was drunk, uh, <laughs> just decided to sit down here because he didn't know exactly where he was supposed to land, and mm. this just seemed like a sensible enough place. And you have gotten out, and immediately this figure has run between you and the helicopter and is continue to run away as this gigantic right. mass of iguanodons are thundering straight towards you. I mean, is there a small space under the helicopter? Can I crawl under there? Ooh, uh, you 100% you could. Um, that sounds like you're going to have to make me a hide roll. Okay, so hide is using which stat? Uh, hide. Clever. Clever. I have plus two clever. So, <laughs> just to explain to people, uh, we are using the Powered by the Apocalypse system, mm -hmm. where you roll two dice at a time, and uh, you have a bunch of different moves that you can make, which are basically the actions or skill checks of the game. And if you roll a two to six, very, very bad. Uh, seven to nine, you'll generally have a mixed success, and if you get a ten plus, then it works perfectly and everything is fine. When you roll your dice, mm -hmm. you'll add on whatever relevant stat. You have three stats. You have fit, clever, and steady. And those are basically how physically fit you are, how intelligent you are, and how cool under pressure you are. So uh, you want to hide I want to from hide, the please. iguanodons. Yes. Great. Roll me Roll me some dice. Okay, cool. And I add my clever, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so that is a five plus two, which is seven. Seven. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, right. 
So, on a 79, someone else is exposed. Um, if you stay hidden, you'll be fine, but they won't. Uh, oh, be remaining hidden. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> right. So these iguanodons that were chasing after Dino Dan, mm -hmm. he has dived underneath this helicopter, and they don't know where he's gone. They're not super smart, but they can see three new targets directly in front of them, and they are bearing down on you, thumbs out, <laughs> ready to go. I'm saying it. Iguanodons are known for their thumb smacks. You want to watch out for that. <laughs> Okay, I guess stepdad mode engages and I try and grab Casper and like push him out of the path. Okay. The beasties. Uh, so I think that sounds like you're going to be doing a look over there role. You're trying mm. to distract distract the dinosaurs from them or are you trying to run, like take him away? Uh, yeah, I'm just trying, because I guess they're coming straight at us. So I need to like grab him and just like push in the, uh, like to the side. So oh, okay, straight. like kind of get him out of, out out of, of danger. Path. Yeah. That might actually be a just do it ability, Ooh, I think okay. kind of makes sense. Uh, unless you had one in mind that you were trying to do. No, I, I'm, cool. I'm hoping I can use my staying cool under pressure stat. So just do it <laughs> is using your steady ability. Oh, good. That's Ooh. the thing I'm good at. I got plus two on that. Fantastic. So uh, get out of the way, bloody kid. Oh, oh there we whoa. go. 12. Oh, Number 12. Plus two makes 14. Cool. Okay, you pull it off exactly as planned. How? What happens? Tell me what's going on. Um, I guess you're just looking at them and going, oh, 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 oh my God, like, yo, look at them. It's like, it's like the Fonz. <laughs> the <throws> up in <laughs> <here>. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. hey. Hey. Perfect. Yeah. yeah I, love, I love that. Uh, you, oh. you have been thrown sort of directly out of the path of these these dinosaurs. Mm. Casper, Casper the friendly boy is <laughs> uh, you're you're going to be completely safe from these charging dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. uh, what does Natasha Natasha want to do? You are stood next to Dave and you might have had like a bit of a chat on the helicopter, uh, you know, maybe know each other a little bit, but you have bigger problems right now because there is a herd of guanabons rushing straight towards you. Okay, I think that Natasha is not a very uh, fit or agile, like running isn't so much a thing, and I think that she will recognize that uh, Dino D-A-N is works for the same company. So I think I'm just, uh, I'm going to uh, squish up to you, uh, <laughs> Daniel Dinosaur, move over. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name's Dino D-A-N Move over, Daniel <laughs> It's very important that you get it correct Dino D-A-N Dino D-A-N, move over The exact of things is very over. important <laughs> I would just push him and scurry underneath Okay, cool, yeah, that sounds like a hide A hide roll as well uh, Roll me, roll me some okay, dice Okay, so I got a five uh -oh, Plus two No, plus one, for, is it steady? Yes Oh. So that is a six. miss. So if you have a roll, a two to a six, then it means that I get to make a move, mm. which is normally all about me putting you guys in more peril or danger. Uh, I'm going to give you a uh, offer them what you want, but with some danger. Um, I will say you'll be able to hide. You'll be able to dodge immediate injury, mm -hmm. but the helicopter is going to be absolutely totaled and wow. you'll only have a brief reprieve from these dinosaurs and then have a new problem uh, either you take that as an option um or you're still going to be in the thick of thick of peril i'll take that okay yeah. so you managed to get underneath the the helicopter with dino dan did you know that the word dinosaur was coined in 1842 by Sir Richard Owen? Of course I know it, I'm a doctor, shut up, Daniel! <laughs> the Greek word dinos, which means terrifyingly fearful, with the word saurus, which means lizard. Oh my god, I'm a smokish Okay, well, these uh, okay. dinosaurs are mere feet away from you, uh, Dave. Casper uh, mm. is looking like it's going to be fine, but they are heading straight towards you, and okay. you are between a helicopter uh. and and a dino pack. This is your last chance to act. Okay, well, I'll try if, and get out of the way, I guess, if I can. Uh, yeah, that's a, a, a run. 
I'll take oh, a run. I'm not. I'm a quite a big, heavy set guy in like work clothes, like okay. overalls and stuff. I'm not very fit. Unless you've got um, a, another option. Well. Oh, I'm already sweaty after pushing mm. the kid, so let's see what I can do. It's a five. Minus one makes a four. Oh. <laughs> oh. These rolls. These rolls. <laughs> okay. Uh, these dinosaurs plow directly into you. Ah. Um, you have rolled a miss, which means I get to make another move, and they smash... They smash into they smash into the helicopter, and it causes the helicopter to flip over, and they sort of barrel over it and keep running. Um, you can mark down an injury. Oof. Oh God! Oh, uh, that's early. Nice and early. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> wow. And that was a Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say you have been. Oh. I think you've been impaled by a thumb. Oh. These guys love their thumbs. Uh, where would you like to be impaled? Uh, I guess not the legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Feels like I need those. Yeah, pick something you don't need. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my ear. Your appendix. <laughs> He's got a pierced ear. Oh, it's like an iguanodon that works at Claire's accessories. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> No, I'm, 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 I think we're going to have. No, a, I think we're going to have a, a little bit. Oh no, there. not my hair. Oh no, no. If you want, if you want, oh, you my, my hair. hair. My hair. Dude. Oh no. Uh, no, you can have ear. Um, it has. It's kind of swung its gigantic uh, spiked thumb thumb mm. hand straight at your head Oof. and it has ripped your ear clean oh, oh no oh god oh. leaving a huge rake in the side Ouch. side of your head which is bleeding profusely wow yeah i mean ears, ears bleed a lot that makes and sense and so you are already drenched in blood um these iguanodons are kind of in this big rough and tumble pile and the two helicopter hiding people, you are cowering next to each other, <laughs> okay. suddenly completely exposed. The iguanodons are, don't seem to be as focused on you right now, but they are still here. Mm. What are you thinking? What do you want to do? I would like to pull my arms and legs back inside my suit. <laughs> <laughs> Pat though it is. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I've survived on this island. <laughs> and what, are you going to continue to try and hide? I'm just going to stay stuck still and Ooh. hope that I can ride out the storm. Okay. Like a, and... like a little turtle <laughs> man. I feel like a Dino D.A.N. suit is like uh, one of those, like when they train attack dogs. Um, oh, so it's okay. like that really big, thick, padded suit. So oh, he pulls himself nice. inside. Hopefully he can just, you've seen it's taken a buffeting already, so hopefully he can just ride this out. Ooh. Okay, so I feel like you're trying to hide, mm, yeah. not get into too much trouble. Hopefully, their vision's based on movement. Yeah, <laughs> all dinosaurs' <laughs> vision's based on movement. Yeah, uh, yeah. Give me a hide. I'm gonna say if this doesn't work, you're gonna get buffeted. Oh, oh that's yeah. not fair. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, oh no! Double no. one. It's Snake Eyes. <laughs> uh, so when we play these games, and I say it's a one shot, I don't mean that we are only going to play for about ten minutes. Yeah, well, these guys are broken. Uh, okay, yeah. A lot of these iguanodons are completely distracted by being tangled up in this helicopter, uh, having just an absolutely miserable time. Um, but one of the ones, sort of at the back. Uh, the had been chasing you uh, is really jabbing you with his thumbs, um, really just knocking you around. And uh, I think you're going to have to be injured as well. Oh, for God's sake. Um, wait, unless I will give you a... Uh, either you can be injured mm -hmm. or um, I will make the scene worse. What would you prefer? Ooh. Can I just give you a dinosaur fact? <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Um, I, I'll be injured. Go on. Okay. Uh, you are being buffeted around as this thing is stomping and jabbing you with its thumbs. It's, it's pretty horrific. Um, your padding only does so much to... How much do, does an iguanodon weigh? Quite a lot, I imagine. Yeah. 
loads and loads and loads. So <laughs> <laughs> more than a tiger, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bigger than a fridge, <laughs> smaller than a house. <laughs> <laughs> you just know really vague facts. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you know the T Rex can eat more than one meal a day? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what? This is a man who's had a psychotic break, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what has happened to you? How are you injured? Um, I think I have had a thumb stuck directly like into my tricep, which is probably like an area that's been... I've used the arms quite a lot to block oh, uh, various okay. bites and scratches. So they are probably the most worn area of the suit overall. And I think, yeah, I've stuck out my arm in an attempt to kind of cover myself. And that's when this thumb spike just got <laughs> Oh, Hour. God. So you have this huge gash in your arm. You guys are already being pretty mangled. Yeah. Mm. Uh, right, it is looking real bad. Um, these these attacks are going to keep coming in unless you okay. can uh, make make a plan. I've got an idea. I want to drag us. Is, this, is there a Triceratops nearby? Because we're in the Triceratops pen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What if we put the Triceratops between us and these guys? Ooh. Because they're both herbivores. They're not going to attack each other yeah they, they will probably take the path of least resistance when mm. they're stampeding um all right casper we got to get behind those those big spiky ones oh. see him over there these 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 won't attack it it looks strong let's oh, hide behind it i've taken so many pictures like <laughs> <laughs> fine i'll come with you let's go um, i've been just snapping the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm i was thinking that we might set this in 1993 Oh, right, okay. So I've got a camera. So you've got, got a, a camera. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. nice. uh, unless you want it to be modern day. No, that's but... great. That's a, a Polaroid yeah. camera. And I've just got pictures of your ear gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. On the floor. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And there was his ear. <laughs> and this was the man in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> he got stabbed in the arm. <laughs> Did you know the Triceratops means try horn face? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, cool. So, are you so, just trying to get behind behind dinosaurs, yeah. or are you trying to yeah. distract? Uh, how's that? We're getting behind the triceratops. Yeah, yeah, I think we're yeah. just using it as a barrier between us and the stampede. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. I think uh, you can roll me a run, a run roll. Both um, of us, or one of us? So, if the two of you are doing it, mm -hmm. uh, then whoever is in the riskier position, which I'm going to say is going to have to be Dave, will mm -hmm. make the run roll. Okay. Uh, because Casper was sort of in the safe the safe spot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I got a ten. Oh, Minus oh. one is a nine. Nine! Mm. You can choose one of these two options. Uh, you get to a new location, but you're still being pursued, or you escape the threat into a new perilous situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I think as we escape the stampede, like the plan works, something else goes wrong. Maybe we've upset Ooh. the triceratops. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Maybe situation. we've stepped in its poo. I, I don't know. <laughs> oh no, what a perilous situation. <laughs> <laughs> I've got shit on my foot. Yeah. How embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Immediate e <laughs> This is as bad as having my ear ripped off. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we can 100%. 100% uh, do that. So you guys are sort of taking off at a run. I mm -hmm. think we will jump into that in a red hot second. Uh, what are, is a Natasha doing? You have... A guy in a suit that you definitely recognize as the logo, mm -hmm. uh, the mascot of uh, industrial cellular genetics. Uh, you've seen it on letterheads or things like that. Yeah. And this guy, you think if this keeps going on for much longer, he will die. Also, they told me I have to bring you back with me. They are worried about the bad PR. Apparently you go cuckoo. I got to bring you back with me. I can't let you die. I'm not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy about dinosaurs. <laughs> living DNA. <laughs> what? Okay, I'm gonna take my. I'm wearing like bright stilettos, which could be useless for running. Okay. So I'm gonna take one of them off <gasps> and chuck it. Oh, okay. It, I mean, dinosaurs are like dogs, right? And they yeah. all go okay. chasing after it. Bit of fetch. Or maybe one of them hits them on the head. I don't know. Have we tried okay. telling them to sit? <laughs> <laughs> you stop that. No. 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 Drop. No. Drop. 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 He's got a ear in his mouth. <laughs> drop. Okay. You want to try and distract it with your stiletto? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That is a look over there ability. Mm. Um, so you are rolling 
with your clever to try and distract these dinosaurs. Uh, I got seven plus two is Perfect. a nine. Uh, okay. You throw your stiletto and the dinosaur is no longer focusing on Dino D-A-N. You have now pulled its full attention. It has stopped kind of buffeting around Dan in his big padded suit and turns, thumbs, thumbs out. <laughs> Did you know that the incel scientists bred the iguanodons to have both the thumb horn and the horn on its head? And oh. it also <laughs> horns on all of its fingers, just in case those were more scientifically accurate. I let them kill you now. Uh, yeah, you are definitely in danger um, that this thing is now going to be coming for you. Uh, Dino Dan, you have been absolutely stomped on um, and you have this horrible gash in your arm, mm. but you've got this moment of reprieve where the dinosaur that was going for you has now turned. And I've seen it's, it's turned, yeah, it's turned and facing Natasha now. As um, she was shouting at it, as she threw her shoe, the shoe just cartwheeled, hit it in the head and- has flopped down. Uh, has flopped down and now it's okay. turned and is looking pretty angry. Can I grab the shoe, um, make a little bit of a walk away, uh, and then I'm going to throw the shoe at the wreckage of the helicopter in, the he in an attempt to make a noise at the helicopter that oh, the yeah. dinosaur will be attracted towards. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think yeah, you can do something like that to draw its attention. That looks like another look over there. Okay. Mm. Uh, that is a eight. An eight. Okay. Uh... You have now drawn the attention of the dinosaur. I'm gonna run as you threw <laughs> as you threw the shoe, and then you hit the dinosaur in the head as well. <laughs> I just keep going and this thing is quickly just throw the shoe again, flipping backwards. Did you and know forwards. that the shoe is the arch nemesis of the iguanodon? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, so and now you are definitely in peril yeah. of being attacked by this pretty angry igu iguanodon. Um, why? Why were these iguanodons? chasing you in the first place? Um, I think I had been trying to get into an abandoned facility mm -hmm. on the island um, in order to raid the vending machines. Right, um, okay. Which I obviously have to do once every blue moon when I run out of food. Um, however, the iguanodons had also been uh, raiding the facility and eating some of the random bits and bobs that had been there. So okay. I found them sort of stuffing down Twinkies and other things like that. <laughs> okay, uh, so as you've been pummeled, Twinkies are pouring out of your suit. Yeah, and just yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm literally just full of uh, snack food. So like a pinata. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. A boost with Guarana falls out, <laughs> Lucas Aid. Okay, so all of your snacks and your big, big outfit are beginning to tumble out. Uh, right, I'm gonna need you guys to uh, get the heck out of here or Keep distracting. I think I'm going to yeah. yeah. dash in the direction that everyone else dashed in. Though. Okay, you um, saw these other two yeah. just uh, tearing off into the distance. Uh, great. Give me a give me a run roll. Are you both going to try and run? Yeah, I'm going to run, but I'll take off my other shoe and just hold on to it. Okay, you have one shoe now. I got running. One shoe. Uh, so who has the worst? Well, I guess actually, uh, Dino D A N. The dinosaurs focused on you. Okay, mm. uh, good. Got plus one in fit. You're the only one with plus one. Oh, oh, look at that. It was, a, it was it's 13. I've rolled 13. <laughs> Am I safe? Uh, yeah. So you both uh, both make it. You are going to be moving to... Oh, you, well done. <laughs> you run away. And although the dinosaur may give chase, you're kind of zipping in between uh, uh, you know, the Triceratops. And you make it to this sort of fence, which is right next to the like dense, thick, just mosquito-filled jungle. And uh, you manage to like crawl through these like big kind of uh, big, big railings that are just designed to keep fairly unaggressive herbivores inside. So you're definitely gonna be fine, uh, fine from those uh, iguanodons. But immediately you hear the cry of uh, Dave and Casper the friendly kid who they have run maybe like 20, 30 feet in front of you, and they are both waist deep in quicksand. Oh. Uh, <laughs> like a pool. Oh. And they are beginning to sink, oh, and they no. are stuck uh, in this scene, oh, and they are God. beginning to beginning to go down. Um, you are not in any kind of peril whatsoever. No. But I'm help. 
going to introduce a mechanic to you now, which is a, a clock, which if you guys get three misses, um, I'm going to say you both die. <laughs> Holy shit. No. And so uh, you are going to need to start making a plan because yeah, it's not too long until you guys go under. And I know you can't actually drown in quicksand. Buoyancy means that you can't go under, but I'm doing like 1950s movie quicksand, <laughs> yeah. which yeah. apparently is the most boredom. lethal thing yeah. in the world. Yeah. 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 The quicksand I, we all imagined as kids. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. We all yes. thought Terrible. we were going to die in quicksand. Yeah, Maybe it, there's nitrogen bubbles that come up, which actually displace the in there body. Yeah, there's something like uh -huh. that. Okay. Uh, oh, would you rather it be tar? No, we'll, we'll still. Tar's it's quite dinosaur-y. That is quite dinosaur-y. That's, that's really going to fuck you up and get out there, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've got my work overalls on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. You've got your dungarees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, I think your dungarees match his overalls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh I love that. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it is, it's sandy, sandy tar. Could be quicksand to a casual observer, but actually, <laughs> <laughs> under a microscope, no, there, there is tar in here as well. Uh, yeah, so, Casper uh, and Dave, you are you are sinking um, yeah. in this kind of like little clearing. It's a, a pool, maybe like 15, 20 feet across, um, in the middle of this just thick, lush jungle, and you just completely didn't see it because you guys were just running for your lives mm. away from. Uh, bad dinosaurs. Mm. Mm. Great. Right. So, you got any bright ideas? Hi, miss. Um, <laughs> <laughs> My name's Dino D A N. I was created by incel scientists <laughs> to teach children about dinosaurs and genetics. There's a child over there, and I think we should save them. Okay, okay, Daniel. Let's go. Let's save the child. Okay. Well, you, you <laughs> I, I start to pull off um, some of the like the double helix pattern is like a thick. Um, cord, sort of Ooh. like foam cord that wraps all the way around. I'm going to pull one end off um, and I'm going to tie it around the fence uh, or like loop it through the fence and then hand to uh, Natasha to hold. Okay. And then I'm going to throw the other end into the tar pit. Oh, so you in the middle. I'm in the middle and then we're <laughs> okay. going to try and pull them out. Okay, great. Yeah, this sounds... Grab onto really this good. helix of my double helix. <laughs> okay, yeah. You you're... guys grab onto this other helix. <laughs> Kiesba, um, grab it, Kiesba. <laughs> <laughs> Up until now, I've been both screaming and taking sweet pics. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! All the, all the pics are sinking. <laughs> oh no! Slowly getting more oh, and more no. filled up. The Polaroid just keeps dropping them out. <laughs> oh no! Straight into oh, the top. No. She keeps slamming new cartridges, yeah. paper. <laughs> this is an expensive trip. Yeah. Polaroids were so expensive. So in the they were like, they you are. would buy, a, you are, would yeah. buy a thing of Polaroids and it'd be like, you, that is, you've got 20 photos for the year. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's it. Because you ain't getting another one till Christmas. So, <laughs> so we'll um, say you've used uh, maybe, maybe 10 of your Polaroids. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, that's, that's, that's aggressive. Eight. Eight <laughs> yeah. okay, You've got great. 12 left. Okay, great. Um, I'm going to grab onto the, the cord and um, and I will, I will, like, I will be, sort of slightly begrudgingly, like, also pass it on. To <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Dave. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. This is another fine mess you've got us in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What happens on these normal weekend visits? <laughs> Potentially dying in quicksand. Oh, it's the same again. <laughs> They've been stuck in every single thing imaginable every weekend. Uh, so this this sounds a lot like a. Um, oh, does it take my hand? Or? Yeah, I think take take my hand. Um, when you stop what you're doing to help someone else in trouble. Yeah. So I'm going to say either Dino Dan or Natasha, you guys can be doing this role. What do you think makes the most sense to do this? Which stat would you like to use? Well, I would like to use Clever because clever. I think we've rigged a pulley system mm. to make light work of dragging them out. Okay. No, so I we're think using the a... leverage of the fence to sort of pull through rather than actually just brute forcing it. Yeah. No, I think this is this is a great great idea. Yes, uh, I am metagaming. Thank you very much. No, it's, uh, <laughs> I, I think you you come up with a, a, a real sweet plan. Uh, roll me a okay. clever roll. Roll me some good dice. That is an eight. An eight. Uh, okay, great. Uh, choose one. Oh. <gasps> yes. 
Yes, ba. You two are separated from the group, uh, or you solve their problem and create one for yourself. It's Ooh. relentless, isn't it? <laughs> when, I can't get a chance to breathe. When, when, when the action is happening, it is non-stop. Okay. Wow. So, what was the what's the first option? You are separated from the group, or you solve their problem but create one for yourself. Uh, we'll go for option two. Uh, right, you are uh, you manage to drag them out. It is both of your buys combined combined strength. Uh, and suddenly, Casper and Dave you are able to drag them to the edge of of this uh, tar lava. It's not lava. We're not adding a new thing. <laughs> oh my oh, god! This uh, tar uh, quicksand tar pit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, Dino D A N, you are like you are injury and you are exhausted. Until you get a good chance to rest, you're going to have minus one on any fit rolls um, as you are. So I just go down to a base zero. Yeah, so yeah. you will, um, until you can get a good moment to have a breather, uh, which I would say you're going to need something better than just lying on the dirt. Uh, yeah. You need something a bit more comfortable just to. What pull about yourself this together. bag of McCoy's ready salted? <laughs> uh, I think you're going to need uh, like at least the salt and vinegar oh. uh, to oh. be able to. I might have a monster energy drink in here somewhere. <laughs> Combine them together into some kind of prison snack. No, you're going to need to have a rest as. It's using all of your effort sure. to do this. Mm -hmm. um, and the whole time, there is a Iguanodon, the other side of the fence, just looking at you guys, giving the thumbs down. <laughs> <laughs> Shaking his head. Oh, that's the biggest killer. Yeah. Oh, the morale feels killer. Bad. Did you know that Iguanodons are easily disappointed? <laughs> 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 this one severely is. Uh, so, yeah, you have a, a moment of reprieve. Casper and Dave, you have been dragged, coughing and spluttering. Ooh. That was a... Ooh. That's cool near death moment but you kind of just all get a moment who get to grips with your surroundings mm. of thick lush rainforest all around you what, what's happened to the helicopter and the pilot uh you have left him for dead oh. <laughs> and Rest in peace. currently the helicopter is upside down and uh you can see a bunch of iguanodons sort of hanging around there and they seem a bit more a bit more chill now, now that they can't get hold of the Twinkies and the McCoy's crisps <laughs> that they have developed a taste for in the <laughs> last couple of weeks. Uh, but yeah, uh, the, unless you can do a lot of repair, that mm. helicopter is absolutely busted. I mean, I'm pretty good at repairing. I'm an engineer, but is it, does it look like it, are the rotors like snapped off and stuff? I'm going to say it is, unless you can find some proper replacement parts, it's a it's a really big job and to even flip it back over is a, a it's a lot of work okay i'm not saying impossible but i'm gonna say this is a hard mm. hard way to escape from dino island mm -hmm. there was meant to be a guide to meet us with mm. the, the walkie-talkie and things you mm. you see anyone only this joker. What about you? Well, Are you hi the there, little kid. <laughs> My name's Dino D.A.N. I was created by incel scientists to teach you about dinosaurs. Oh, oh that's great, Lakey. Are you our guide, then? I'm a living piece of DNA. DNA is super important because that's how dinosaurs were brought back to life. I feel like you're avoiding the question, mate. <laughs> we took blood from mosquitoes trapped in amber, and then we spliced it. With other DNA from other animals. So I'm gonna, um, uh, I'm gonna give you some backstory that you yeah. would know. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say that you don't fully know about how the dinosaur stuff works. Yeah. Um, that maybe they told you about amber or stuff, but it feels like they real treat you with like kids' gloves around yeah. anything that's too. Too highbrow. Oh, he's lost his mind. This none of this is. I don't think this is any of this. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't. What he's nothing that Dino DNA Dino Dan is saying is is the truth necessarily. Okay. I think he's fully yeah. he's fully in character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's just lost it. So he's just saying we could have spliced them with something nice like tree frogs from Chile or something like that. But the dinosaur scientists at Incel decided to splice all of the dino DNA with honey badgers. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so That's aggressive. why they're so vicious and aggressive. <laughs> How long have you been on this island, mate? I was born here. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Uh, 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 I don't think this is our guide. 
dinosaur Daniel, where dinosaur D A A N? Yeah, where uh, we want to go to the facility. I need to collect some uh, DNA. Where are we going? Can you take us? The facility on the island is where they store uh, the canteen. Where you can find yourself some nice jello, you can buy yourself a, a nice meal. You can also go to the dinosaur shop. In the dinosaur shop, we sell multiple figurines, booklets, and other things. Okay, can you take us there? Yes, I can take you to there. Okay. Potentially, if the DM <laughs> lets me. Okay, so uh, there is the. So we are now in. We're not in peril. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so now you can make a safety move. Cool. Because I do actually have been around the block, which is when someone mentions a specific location on the island for the first time, I can roll clever if I've been there. Uh, oh. Great. So you make a test and uh, you uh, let me know how that works. Okay. Ooh, oh, double that's a 14. Oh, it's a 14. 14. Yeah. That is very clever. Yeah. Okay, great. Uh, and so what, what is the wording on um, if you get a hit? Uh, <clears throat> plus 10, you know exactly where it is. You can mark it on the map and gain plus one to all rolls while traveling there. Okay, uh, right. Plus one to all rolls. Uh, back to one fit, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you guys actually have a map? So we have a, a map that you guys are able to fill in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to say I'm going to mark it on the map. You guys don't actually know where stuff is, yeah. okay. but there will be a point where I will give you all of the map-based information. Okay. Um, Do we know where we are? Uh, no, you're. Okay. You know that you landed in the Triceratops pen, or at least mm. that's what you can piece together. Okay. There was a big sign that said Triceratops pen. Watch out for iguanodons mm. and watch out for, for tar. For tar. <laughs> <laughs> Do not go this way. <laughs> big drowning, like drowning man symbol. Is, uh, tar really... smeared all over the sign. Yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so yeah, you know that uh, actually this is where you had literally just run from, mm -hmm. which is where the iguanodons had chased you out of, which was the canteen. Ah, where the vending machines are. And mm. the vending machines, if that makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is. It is like a, a 10 minute walk through the jungle mm -hmm. and you have gone back to this place multiple times. Uh, that's mm -hmm. where you're getting all of your snacks. Mm -hmm. But you know there's dinosaurs there. Yeah. Uh, and it's sometimes a little bit dangerous, but maybe they'll chase you out. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure, sure it's fine. Dino Island's a really safe place. Follow me, everyone, <laughs> to the facility this way. Did you know that iguanodons are partial to a Capri's cream egg? <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up. Before we go, I got... Oh, I gotta get this sorted out. I need a little patching up. Dave, you are missing ear? Yeah. Well, what? You are missing ear? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> ah, I get it. Okay, very funny. Um... <laughs> so, after about 15, 15 20 minutes, uh, kind of making your way through, through this jungle, uh, at times you thought you've gotten lost, but it turns out Dino GN does know what's going on and you make it to another another sort of clearing and there's this large man-made building um, which is sort of the cafeteria dormitories like part of this facility uh, give me some description of what it looks like give me some um, I think it's kind of like it's almost like brutalist architecture it's that kind of like um, hexagon like it's kind of hexagonal or like multi-sided shape really mm. like long blocked off sides in this kind of like squat dome almost um with just like one large main entrance that's way too tall it's it's the the door the entrance ways maybe just like um 20 foot or something huge imposing doors that open into this do you want inside as well uh yeah, give me um uh, yeah. give me a little. So they open up into like kind of like yeah the the top of the dome is all glass, so the foyer is kind of well lit. You've got these spiral staircases that go off to either side, and uh, little small side rooms that you can see like dotted around all the different faces of this multi sided shape. Okay, I love mm, yeah. love that, and <laughs> uh, so okay. yeah, you make it to this this building, uh, this huge brutalist uh, kind of. Co concrete like just big yeah big brown brick like uh like the like the barbican but they've just made okay. a bunch of like yeah mm. uh, just just this big fat dome sweet uh, <laughs> so nice. you, you make it to these these doors and these huge colossal doors um they have been smashed like absolutely destroyed mm. whatever has destroyed these doors has uh, required a lot of force to do it um this is not just someone 
breaking in. Uh, something something much bigger has done it. Uh, this was exactly how it looked the last time mm -hmm. that you came through here. Um, uh, something that is really weird, though, as you kind of like make your way inside, it's fairly quiet, but there is a there's a, a dead person right by the door uh, of this place, um, and they look pretty freshly dead. And weirdly, they are dressed like a Roman centurion uh, in a like a like a full costume. And uh, it looks like they have been uh, trampled, trampled to two bits by by dinosaurs. What the fuck? Um, and so this is this is a pretty upsetting moment, especially for a young Casper the Friendly Boy. Mm -hmm. Again, I'm screaming, and I take a photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, what's happened here? What's going on? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, 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 oh Jesus! What's Go going on? on? Who is this? Your friend Dino Dan? Is this your pal? I think Dino Dan stood by a like life-size cutout of Dino Dan. <laughs> yeah. Just ask Dino Dan anything. Oh, and nice. He's yeah. just like. I have no idea who that is. <laughs> They're not part of the park's attractions. They must be another guest. A guest, like, or from the past. <laughs> <laughs> he come back from the past, does he? And come, but I, oh, I got, oh, I got my brain's been scrambled. Oh, come on, Casper. How many times do I have to tell you to stop looking at corpses? No, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> can't stop, won't stop, like. <laughs> I've told you a thousand times now. Get out of here. <laughs> so you you kind of make your way into this building. And uh, yeah, it is a large sort of uh, atrium cell area mm -hmm. with a, a massive food court in like off one of the hexagonal sides. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, there are vending machines. There are sort of kitchens that you can see going off into the backs of it. And other sort of doors going off of each uh, side of the hex that are leading to uh, dormitories, uh, restrooms. Um, it doesn't look like this was would have been like a public facing part only for employees, and it has been ransacked. Um, it jungle is already beginning to sort of encroach into this. Um, you're not entirely sure when uh, it was abandoned, but you would guess at least a, a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. and uh, it's looking pretty. So what does it look like this building was here for? It's just like staff living quarters. Yeah, it looks like it was a sort of functional staff mm -hmm. living quarters area. And does this link up to like the main buildings in any way? Is there like a like you transport system? Wouldn't know. Um maybe Dino DAN would, or um you are able to get the lay of the land. Ooh. Um, Ooh. as a as a moment. Okay. What well, so, oh, it's plus uh, clever. Yeah, I got some clevers. I got I rolled a nine, but I got plus one clever, so I got a ten. Ooh. Ten. Nice. Uh, okay, on a hit, um, I will tell you about two landmarks, one natural, one man-made, uh, that you can see. Mm. Um, okay, I will say that uh, you walk around and um, there is just sort of like a large information board with a you are here, and it's a map of the island, okay. and you are sort of in the center of the center of the island um, in the dormitories. So when um, people make a safety move, or sometimes there'll be other moves that this will kick in, mm -hmm. um, you have to tell a story right. from your past. Um, the more stories you tell, the better the outcome for the game will be. <laughs> uh, we'll get to that later on, but it's a way for you to flesh out your character and mm. impart a bit of knowledge. So you have a little list of uh, possible stories that you can tell as mm -hmm. Dave. So as you're, you know, walking around with Casper, uh, mm -hmm. what what are you gonna what are you gonna tell? Um, okay, I'm gonna tell you about a um, thing that I dream of building. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you find this big map on the wall already. There's a, um, some kind of like crazy vines have grown on this already, mm -hmm. and you kind of clear them to one side and. Uh, you're talking to Casper. Right. Oh, have a look here. 
This isn't the first facility I've been involved in uh, I'm doing a job on. You see that volcano up there? Oh, yeah. I've always dreamed of building a secret volcano base. Oh. That's what got me into the business. I started working for millionaire, billionaire scientists and building escape rooms and bunkers. I always wanted to build like a real Bond villain lair in a volcano. Would it be like really hot though? <laughs> You'd have to have loads of ice. <laughs> I suppose that's, that is one way of keeping a place cool, <laughs> but it's not the only way. <laughs> Name another way. I always imagined, or oh, I'd always imagined of plumbing up like a water cooled system into the volcano. Oh. You know, so like the, the seawater could, could come in, cool down the place, soak up the heat, and then be pumped back out into the sea. Like, oh. a, like a graphics card. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, Dave, you're, you're so cool. <laughs> <laughs> what have I told you about using that sarcastic tone of voice with me? Oh, oh, no, I didn't mean it like that, like, no. So, I just said you were cool. So it's at this, this point that you notice uh, nearby, um, you have a, uh, a huge lake off to one side of this place, the other side of this facility in the, uh, the jungle. Um, the other side of the facility from where you came from mm -hmm. is a vast lake and um, is the aviary. Um, are two locations Ooh. sort of next to you. You can put them on the map wherever you want. Um, they are near nearby. There we go. We'll have a little uh, what are bird symbol. Natasha and uh, Dino Dan doing? I'm just giving the talk. I'm just saying. And over there, you can find the dormitories where you could sleep. Over here is the cafeteria. Unfortunately, the cafeteria is out of most foods, but you can find yourself some Dairy Lee Lunchables. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> um, so I will. And a uh, packet of smints. So I will give you a little warning. During the safety move stage, there is a safety move called Best Laid Plans, which is when you take too long to discuss your course of action. The DM makes a move. And so, if nothing happens for very long, I'll make something bad happen. <laughs> God. Uh, cool. So. Uh, I'm I'm going to scavenge. I want to go find if uh, walkie-talkie or telephone or something, I need to call the base. Okay, great. Yeah, yeah. Roll me a scavenge roll. So you are rolling uh, versus clever, and you'll get to tell us a story. Ah. Um, as Dino D-A-N, is it showing you around? Okay, uh, I got nine plus two, so I got eleven. Ooh, very good. Uh, you well, find you. something useful, maybe even the one thing you were hoping for. <gasps> uh, great. What were you hoping to find? Ooh. Um, I'll. Working telephone. Working telephone. As you explore around this place, um, it is obvious the power is out. There is n no power whatsoever um, in the building whatsoever. Um, and uh, as you're walking around, you hear the static of a walkie-talkie, and you hear it, someone is talking. Okay. But as you're exploring, you, you get to tell us a story. Okay. I tell you why I became doctor, eh? Okay. okay. <laughs> now shut up and listen to me. <laughs> I grew up all over land, uh, Romania, Paris, uh, Germany. Just everywhere, so but mainly I live in Bogoslavia with father. Father was doctor, um, but he also <laughs> mad scientist. Uh, he he hated Catwoman from uh, from superhero. He thought uh, too many women superhero. He worked for Incel Company too, oh, and, no. um, and he wanted to make real life Catman. So he would take uh, the top half of a man and the and the bottom half of a cat. It kept going wrong. It's just man with cat anus. He kept dying. The, the subjects all died. And then he sadly died too. Very difficult life back home in my country. So I, I vowed to become doctor and I make dinosaur man, but with no anus or death problem. That's why I become doctor. Oh, look, a walkie talkie. <laughs> <laughs> Mid-cat mid anus rant, yeah. you're, you're interrupted by 
Um, you hear uh, the, like the whine and static of a walkie-talkie as you're you kind of go into one of these uh, dormitories that has just rows of bunks and there's big uh, these big lockers, and th there is someone hiding inside the locker and they are talking on a walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. You can't quite make out what they're saying, but there is the very distinct kind of crackle of uh, the static, um, and you know it's a walkie-talkie and they're inside inside this cupboard. Hey, hello. Is there someone in there? Uh, there's no response. You open door, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know D-A-N would do that because he, he, he follows orders. He'd rip it open. He'd be like, well, hi. Oh, oh God. I'm Dino D-A-N. Oh, my. There's a, uh, like a kind of, kind of, uh, like portly, portly fellow, uh, sort of balding, um, wearing what looks like a really bedraggled, a security uniform in there. And they had been on their radio just saying like, come in, can, I, can anyone hear me? Is anyone out there? Oh no. Did you know the dinosaurs went extinct over 66 million years ago? What the hell? <laughs> why, why are they here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> why are they here? Please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm just like looming over here with these big googly eyes bobbing yeah, around. You look these, like these tiny wild human eyes staring out. You look terrifying. You're covered in your own covered blood in my and own tar. blood. Bits of this, yeah, bits of the double helixes still hanging off behind me in a trail. Oh yeah, you are horrifically bleeding uh, still, and half your costume is covered in tar from uh, the adventures over there. What the hell is going on? Are you our guide? A guide? I don't know who you are. <laughs> who are you? I am Natasha. He is uh, Dinosaur Daniel. We come here, we, we've been sent here to work. Who are you? Oh, actually, I remember. Yeah, Dino D-A-N, the mascot. Oh, you startled me for a second. I thought you were fired. I've been here the whole time. I was, <laughs> I was created by incel scientists to teach you about dinosaurs. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember you. Oh God! Did you know that Stegosaurus and Tyrannosaurus Rex never existed at the same time? There was just as much time between a Stegosaurus being extinct as there has been since Tyrannosaurus has been extinct for us about sixty-six million years. He's walked out the room <laughs> into, into the main, uh, the main sort of area where Casper uh, and Dave are looking at um, a map and just arguing about <laughs> volcano lairs. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense! <laughs> <laughs> Don't you see? That what makes it so cool is how implausible it is. Man, man's, like, a supremacy over nature. <laughs> we can overcome it. But if I was a billionaire, an evil billionaire, I would not be putting it in the most obvious place in the world. <laughs> a volcano! It's no. such a cliche! No, no one going to look at a volcano for your secret lair. Yes, you would if you're an evil genius. Ever watched a movie? No, everyone knows the first place you look for a secret thing is behind a waterfall. Oh, yeah. You check the waterfall, <laughs> but then afterwards you go, well, it must be the giant volcano, especially if it's got a skull for a cave. <laughs> I can say, as you were having this conversation, there, there is a distinct rumble in the ground. And through the skylight of uh, of this building, um, you can, like off in the distance, there is a volcano on this island. And it almost looks like there is smoke coming out of the volcano. Uh. <laughs> oh, look what you've done now, dear! <laughs> <laughs> okay, you've angered the god, Krakatoa! <laughs> you've angered Gaia herself! <laughs> who, who, the, who the hell are you two? Why is there a kid here? <laughs> It's me, Casper the Friendly Child. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. What's your name? Oh, uh, it's it's Alistair. Alistair Biggins. <laughs> Alistair Biggins. <laughs> Alistair Biggins. Hey, all right, Alistair. What's, uh, what's up here then? Oh, the there's dinosaurs. <laughs> yeah, we gathered as much. They've, <laughs> they've killed, killed almost everybody. Oh, it's, the the power went down. I've been trying to radio for help. Oh God. Yeah. When was that too then? Oh, this was this was a few weeks ago. It all went down. One terrible night. 
<laughs> Should we all look up at the flashback? <laughs> he, he stands there. <laughs> <laughs> having, having it privately. <laughs> oh, go on, share it with us. <laughs> There's a, a terrible, a terrible storm happened. Uh, all the power went down. There's no, there's no way. There's no way out of here. Um, I, don't know, I don't know how to do it. From this side of the island, uh, the only way to, to cross the gully is using the monorail. Mono, mono whale. <laughs> mono whale. Do, do what you mean, monorail? No, they rebranded it the mono whale. It's built to look like a whale. Uh, in, in the uh, industrial cellular genetics, they loved the whale. It used to be their symbol before they got into dinosaurs, uh, you see. And so they call it the mono whale. It looks like a whale. Right, right. Uh, well, that's the only way across the island. Um, and uh, I, don't, I don't know how to get it working again. Uh, did you trample this Roman centurion to death? <laughs> what? <laughs> he, uh, yeah, he, <laughs> he looks and he sees it and... Don't be rude, son. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just asking questions, like... Did you know you can purchase a ticket to the monorail at the kiosk? <laughs> oh, oh, that must have been the screaming I heard uh, about, uh, about 20 minutes ago. I, got, oh. I have a question. You say there are no dinosaurs a few weeks ago? No, there have been dinosaurs here for a while. Those but they hiders. escaped when killed. Yeah, the, all the power went out. Right. Uh, the containment facilities failed. And they escaped. They got in here. Uh, normally, uh, they wouldn't be anywhere near, near the dormitories. Okay. This is where people are meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> you come with us and we can escape together? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, sweet I Alistair can, Biggins? Uh, yeah, sweet, <laughs> sweet Alistair Biggins is what they call him. <laughs> I do have a sweet toothy. That's his, that's his belly. Uh, yeah, I, oh, I, can, uh, I can help guide you, but I don't know where exactly where we're going. Um, okay, that's but, good. First, I put the ear back on. Mm, yeah, I need a bit of a patch up, uh, I think. It's got a bit, a little bit sore. What about you? I'm just a living piece of DNA. <laughs> okay, I leave you. <laughs> can I help? Can we get a first yeah. aid? Yeah, you can. That's a great shout. Okay. Yeah. Um, so you, I'll give you guys the choice if you want to do this sort of like quickly or mm. if you want to take some time. If you take some time, I'm going to say Nightfall is going to start to be coming in. Mm -hmm. But that will give Dino DAN a chance to rest and I'll let you clear mm -hmm. being mm. exhausted. Mm. Um, and you can have a go at doing a bit of patching up um, and uh, you go. You can have a little scavenge around for some food or oh, something if you like. That'd be uh, good, yeah. Casper the friendly boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Dino D-A-N would uh, like profess too much about being uh, patched up. Mm. I think he'd just let it happen. Okay. But he'd probably just be spouting off dinosaur facts the entire mm -hmm. time. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Do you know this wound was inflicted by <laughs> yeah. the Mama Spike? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, we'll do like this as sort of like a vague kind of montage scene yeah. Yeah. Um, where we'll begin with a bit of patching up. So you have a medical skill, I, I believe, do. as a doctor. Do you mean these guys here? So treat wounds. Oh, right up there. Okay. Uh, take a quiet mind, mind, moment to tend someone else's injury and have the right equipment and tell them a story, even if they're unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so you need to make a dice roll to see I'm how this is going. I'm unconscious the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> There's a real man trapped in here. Oh no, well, we roll four. You, what happens if you roll a four when you're trying to heal someone? I hope you're healing somebody else. Uh, <laughs> I get on a four fade. Ten plus you heal, you treat their wound. Seven to nine you do it if the conditions were right. On a miss, the DM will tell you how you've made things worse. Oh, God. oh no. Oh <laughs> no! Okay, we'll we'll get to this. So you are uh, sat with Dave, kind of uh, push some of these kind of like big uh, big tables together. There's sofas and uh, stuff, sort of like you'd have in like the atrium of an office or mm -hmm. something like that. Rest and relaxation sort of area, mm -hmm. and you get some cushions together and you begin to treat his wounds. Okay, um, he's still. You managed to stem the bleeding, mm -hmm. um, but you, you ain't getting that ear back. That mm. is long gone, and mm. the wound has not been solved. Mm. We'll, get, we'll get back to the, the horrific uh, how this has all gone wrong in in a moment. 
Uh, can um, Casper, do you what do you want to be doing while this is going on? You can either uh, get the lay of the Ooh. land or have a scavenge around for stuff. I think I'm gonna to. have a scavenge, uh, and you know, he, I think probably he's been sent off to try and find food, but actually he wants to find a weapon. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, yeah roll me, roll me some dice. Uh, so that is five plus one, so six. So that's a miss. No. You find something bad. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> okay, uh, great. Two misses in a row. This is going to get really horrific really quickly. <laughs> and uh, are you going to try and heal uh, Dino D A N as well? Yeah. Uh, you can uh, give me another roll and um, tell me a story as you're trying to patch him up. I tell you, uh, I tell you, uh, can I fix both at the same time? Yeah, we'll yeah. say like you're kind of going from one to the other, <laughs> just doing one. doing your best. Okay, I tell you time, I got five. Oh, but plus two. Plus two, seven. Seven. Okay. Well, so. thank God. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't believe in God, because I believe in DNA. <laughs> <laughs> so on a partial success, what does that give you? Uh, partial success is on a seven to nine, you could do it if conditions were right. The DM will tell you what you need. When you get it, cross off the injury. Okay. I'm going to say, yeah, there, there would be some kind of medical facility by here. You, you just need... Uh, some... You're worried about infection or something mm. like that. You can stop the immediate bleeding, but... Mm. A uh, disgusting iguanodon claw. Ugh, gross. Um, you, this guy needs some antibiotics or something like that really, really soon to actually clear that as mm. mm -hmm. an injury. Story. Mm. I tell you about the time I had nearly fatal mistake, eh? Mm. Uh, Was it just now with me? <laughs> just now, incidentally. I put the ear on backwards. Uh, once, uh, I think I'd be plastic surgeon and I mix the animals with the human faces, make you very pretty. Uh, I thought I'd do it to myself as practice. Uh, in my country, people really love giraffe eyebrow. Like, really nice look. <laughs> so I put the giraffe eyebrow onto my face, but it went really, really pussy and <laughs> infected. And I almost died. I had to put my eyebrow back on. This is why I can no longer show emotion. My eyebrows do not work. Anyway, I accidentally did your ear wrong. I'm really sorry about that, but I think you're okay. Sewed my arm to his ear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's got two ears on the other, ear, yeah. on the other side. I was not concentrating. I was paying attention to my story. <laughs> Maybe a little bit less of this next time, all right? <laughs> wow. Okay. My God. <laughs> the nightmare fuel. The, yeah, I kind of want to know the, the the campaign of just yeah. you and your mad scientist father yeah. doing horrific animal surgery on people. Did you know that when incel scientists play with DNA, <laughs> they make it really hot and woozy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really hot and woozy. <laughs> uh, so this is going on. Also, you are going to be something bad is going to be happening to you soon. Yep. Um, mm. And uh, as Casper, the friendly boy. Mm. Uh, you're kind of going along, uh, you go straight through the kitchens and um, are sort of wandering around and you see there is the security office mm. um, and you make it into there and uh, it seems like, like you're drawn to the security office, mainly because partly because you're looking for a weapon, but also there is some light coming from in here mm. um, and you can see that there are a few monitors on and that it seems like this is on its own kind of closed backup generator mm. just this this room mm. and uh you uh there is a monitor that you immediately identify as it is looking at the entrance to the building you can kind of see uh where it is um, looking at the big smash doors and you see a huge shape moving towards the building coming directly towards those doors uh, is what you're alerted to um, oh, Jesus. okay uh, I'm gonna run back to everyone uh, as you turn to run back <laughs> There's a dinosaur in the room with you <laughs> oh no <laughs> uh, Choose me a number between 70 and 250. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if, if you get like, there's going to be something. Just a whale. I hope it's a fish monster. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 190, please. 190. Oh, no, we're not near the aquatic section. 
Maybe it's one of those little chicken ones? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this looks nice. Uh, the ornithomimids. Oh, they are the little ones. Ooh, Gala Gallimimus. <laughs> Gallimimus. <laughs> Gallimimus. <laughs> Meaning of the name Chicken Mimic. Gallimimus oh, is the one. They're the ones that uh, the kid in Jurassic Park's going. What's the name? Gala Gala Gallimimus. Oh. And then they're all sprinting across the field. Oh, wow. oh okay. So is uh, he a friendly boy? Is he a friendly boy? They're egg stealers. Oh, they're at least egg stealers. Uh, oh, I'm like an egg because I'm a child. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah you... Um, and the vending machines are full of Cadbury's cream eggs. <laughs> so I'm going to say you you turn around to run back uh, to uh, tell tell everyone about this shape that is coming towards the front door. Um, but as you turn, you can see like where the door is just ajar, there is this creature. This A dinosaur is directly outside of the room mm. from where you are. Uh, what would you like to do? Uh, I think... So I'm going to say it hasn't noticed you yet. Mm. And this is a really large... Uh, Laurie, you, you describe it for the theatre of the mind. Uh, a Gallimimus is, yes, the, it's a bipedal uh, raptor-shaped kind of dinosaur. It stands on two hind legs with a huge tail sweeping out behind it. It's got kind of like uh, short clawed arms and then a kind of long flat face <gasps> with... Razor teeth, razor teeth. I guess. Oh, okay. I think they're kind. I think they're carnivorous. Are they kind of uh, like ostrich sized? Yeah, or? I think they're kind of like they're probably bigger than ostriches. Yeah. I oh wow. At least the Jurassic Park oh. version is like. So I'm gonna say it is uh, definitely uh, bigger, bigger than an ostrich. Um, yeah. This thing probably up to its shoulder must be a good like sort of like five or six feet, and then its head is coming up way beyond that. Um, also. Uh, like it looks like it is half kind of walking along the corridor and also half kind of like digging its claws into the wall and like climbing across the wall as well in quite an unnatural way. Oh, well, that's terrifying. I'm going to hide. Uh, use the hide ability. I'm going to say it. Do, you don't have its attention right now, but yeah. so you can you can just hide. Okay, uh, you are absolutely fine. Um, but it is definitely going back in the direction towards uh, everyone else. And there is a big shape that is moving towards them from oh, the oh. other direction. Oh, oh, in God. the whole direction to... Did you know they installed these doors to be 20 feet high? The vast majority of the dinosaurs in this park are 19 feet high. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Why? Okay, seeing as you did just sort of chain gun together, all of these just super... Super bad results. Mm -hmm. um, I think we will have coming towards this building. Um, you are sort of uh, doing your healing. Um, you've managed to have like a bit of a rest. Mm -hmm. It is now pretty dark outside. Um, Do we know what went wrong with you? Oh, yeah. DM? What's up with my ear? <laughs> what have I done to him? <laughs> I'm oh. sorry. <laughs> uh, well, was it um, that you made the situation worse, right? Yeah. Yes. And the DM will tell you how you've made things worse. Yeah. I okay. shout in pain as she stabs yeah. me. As you are trying to uh, sort out his ear, you are screaming, <laughs> screaming away. Uh, maybe back in your country, you don't believe in anesthetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you are just hush, hush. jabbing away. <laughs> And I wash it out with vodka. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you are just pouring <laughs> pouring alcohol onto that. Um, uh, Biggins is has managed to find a, a single sort of um, like kerosene style lamp mm -hmm. um, that you guys are sort of clustered around. And you are screaming, hollering in pain. Here are the names of some dinosaurs that might fit through these doors: <laughs> Tyrannosaurus, Allosaurus, Velociraptor. <laughs> Over Raptor. <laughs> He's just uh, listing names of dinosaur like <laughs> all of them vicious predators. <laughs> so, ah! <laughs> uh, as you scream, you look up to where these doors are, and just barely illuminated by this gas lant lantern is an Ichthyovenator, a gigantic Spinosaurus. Um, it has a long crocodilian style mouth this huge fan on its back and it has been drawn to the sound of what it thinks is an injured prey animal dying uh, and it has put its head through the doors 
and has turned to look at the three of you. <laughs> you look at him. We've still got the guy with us as well. Biggins is uh, there coming along and like, oh, guys, I found some more Twinkies and <laughs> some sort of vinegar McCoys. He drops them and freezes. You are all stood looking at this dinosaur, which is pretty big. This thing is very, very large. Make a plan. Well, it was really interesting because you described uh, these doors as the only way into this building, didn't you? I did, yeah. That was a, that was a very interesting thing <laughs> to add that detail. <laughs> I didn't describe it like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great. I need a plan. This thing has seen you. It is aware of where you are. It is maybe 20, 30 feet away from you right now. It is stood in the doors and it will be able to fit through them. Does Biggins have more than one walkie-talkie, or just one walkie-talkie? Roll me a d6. Uh, if you roll a six, I'm going to say it's lucky. A one is unlucky. Um, the higher you roll, the better better he is. I rolled a five. Five. Um, you know what? He does have a walkie. Uh, he's got more walkie-talkies, but they are in the, actually in the security office. Uh, where's the security office? Do I, I would know where the he's, security um, office is. It's deeper inside the building. Yeah, you might know where the security office is. Uh, but he's like, oh yeah, it's, it's literally like two minutes just deeper into this building. I'm going to sprint to the security office. Okay, great. Uh, a <laughs> run ability, maybe. Um, we all run together? Uh, do you all want to run mm. from the... Yep. Maybe it's all doing one roll each, I suppose. Yeah. Well, so I'm if you in all... the security office. Yeah. Uh, I have a plan. <laughs> uh, so, the uh, Ichthyo Venator. Uh, you are all going to run from that, uh, Biggins is like, oh, quick, to the, the security office. <laughs> it's definitely going to be safe there. And he takes off running. Right. <laughs> That's where we keep the handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> uh, he starts running. Uh, so all of you, I feel like you're all in roughly the same sort of position on this. So basically whoever is the worst, whoever has the lowest one. fitness. So I think you're going to roll, roll oh, to yeah, run. Yeah, I'm a minus one. I roll a six, which goes to a five. A six to a five? Get us out. I'm not built for running. <laughs> <sighs> okay, you you try to run, but there's like leaf litter where dinosaurs have come in and nested. Uh, you know, um, rubble and bits and stuff, bits and bobs going on. Um, you begin to run and you step on a Twinkie which bursts out of its packet <laughs> and you slip and fall flat on your face. Oh, the, Dave. the rest of you, you're sort of able to make it to this back, back tunnel area. Just uh, hop over you. <laughs> <laughs> Dave is going to, Dave is going to be attacked by the, uh, the Spinosaurus no. if he, if you aren't able to save him. Okay. And uh, he's already taken the injury which will be really bad for yep. him. Uh, I'm going to grab the walkie-talkie from Biggins, and I'm going to throw it into the hallway. And then I'm going to shout, Hey, Casper, the friendly child, can you use the walkie-talkie? <laughs> it's a walkie-talkie in the room with you. Make a screaming noise. <laughs> As you look down that corridor, that which Ooh. is leading to uh, towards the security office, uh -huh. um, you spot... Crawling along the wall, this large shape of the chicken mimic, mm. the this other dinosaur, <laughs> Gallimimus. The Gallimimus. I remembered his name. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. was testing you. Yeah. <laughs> and you failed. <laughs> not me. I'm an idiot. Uh, you have made it to this corridor, and you can see this Gallimimus digging its claws into the walls and kind of like creeping up around, sort of like sniffing. Uh, it's got a long tongue. I've just added that. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. And it's like testing, testing the air. It it looks like it's on the hunt as well. Oh. Uh, maybe I throw the walkie-talkie in between the two dinosaurs then. Okay, so I'm gonna say like you are roughly you were in a large sort of circular room <sighs> or hexagonal room with these sort of uh, attachments coming off of it in different yeah. directions. And right now, I'm going to say you guys are roughly between these two dinosaurs. There are other directions you could split off to. 
um, sort of heading into the kitchens, into the medical facility, mm -hmm. uh, into the actual uh, dormitories themselves. Whereas mm -hmm. this route uh, looks like it goes to security and admin and yeah. so uh, that kind of thing. So Casper is behind the Gallimimus to us now. Casper is in a door very near the Gallimimus. Uh, yeah. yeah, the Gallimimus is between you and Casper. This is a, a a real riddle of a dinosaur. So I, I guess I yeah I guess I've already called that out and already yeah. done that. But seeing the other dinosaur come the other way, I'm probably just gonna bolt for the next bit around. Okay, okay. I drag you along if that's agreeable. Yeah. Um, because, yeah, I think the plan still works. Mm. The idea that we're trying to use the walkie-talkie to distract both dinosaurs and hopefully get the, both dinosaurs to fight, which will let you escape. Okay, I love... Okay, That's this, kind of what I'm hoping That'd be for. really I'm, good. I'm going to say this is more of a look over there then roll to distract yep. them <clears throat> with the walkie-talkie. Mm -hmm. uh, great, give me... Do you want me, me to do that or do you want Casper to do that? Because Casper's the one actually screaming into the walkie-talkie. Yeah, because I'm... Yeah, because you've shouted out to me to go and get the walkie-talkie yep. from the security room. Uh, I will say uh, either, either whoever, who, whichever one of you wants to do it, I'm down with that. Um, I think it makes sense that I would be doing it, mm -hmm. just because. Yeah, I've essentially just asked you to put yourself in peril. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, clever. That's what I've got to go roll with. Uh, Ooh. That, oh, Ooh. ten plus one is eleven. Ooh. Okay. You draw the dinosaur's attention to where you intend. Your friend is safe. <gasps> hey. Hooray! Hey. Uh, that was hey. a perfect plan. Dinosaurs, come over here. <laughs> come over here now, dinosaurs. I sing him a little song. <laughs> oh, your dinosaur attention song. Yeah. <laughs> Love that. Uh, yeah, the Mimeoplasm. What's his name? The Gallimimus. The Gallimimus. <laughs> it, here's the... The, the screech of the radio and sees the movement of it and it just goes charging into the middle of the sort of main atrium area of this building at that moment the spinosaurus sees it and runs at that it steps over poor injured dave um by like oh. mere mere inches away <laughs> its gigantic foot slams down oh kind of cracking God. tiles and it is instantly on the hunt for uh, the Gallimimus instead. Mm. You have moments to break out of here um, as the two dinosaurs are now completely fully attention on each other. Okay. Ugh. Let's go meet up with Casper in the security office, I guess, right? Yeah, and I guess we, we can just lock ourselves in the security wow. office now. Sweet Alistair begins. <laughs> uh, oh, yes. <laughs> Security office, they have gun? Uh, yeah, roll me a luck roll. Just a, it's just a roll of d6 and just how good the number is. Five. Five. Uh, yeah, yeah, there's a gun. Got a gun. Okay. Uh, you head, um, yeah, you guys make it into the security office to, uh, you turn back and the Spinosaurus, it has snatched the Gallimimus in its jaws. And the Gallimimus is like a pretty big dinosaur, mm. but it is tearing chunks off this thing. It's as like it is slashing back at the, the Spinosaurus as you guys barrel into the security office and shut the door, mm. turning the lock. The Spinosaurus is incredibly territorial. <laughs> <laughs> and as we've just witnessed. <laughs> And apparently they like to pick off easy prey. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Like a baby, like a little child. A little baby boy. Like a baby. Oh, that's hideous. I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm a talking baby. <laughs> <laughs> but you managed to slam the door shut and have this moment of reprieve. I'm going to check if there's any other doors or windows or exits of any kind. Ooh. I will say, give me a look over there type roll to find out about this. I rolled a five. I got two, no, I got one clever, so it's a six. Uh, not look over there. This is a, um, the same kind of thing, the safety move, the lay of the land. Lay of the land, yeah, still a six. Miss, you discover an immediate peril. Oh, oh. why, why, why? I don't want to get locked in a dead end room. In situations uh, like this, it's best not to do anything. <laughs> so, you are looking around. You've never been in this room before. Mm. Um, seeing if there is a another door, another window. Because there, there are lockers and stuff like that in here. Um, 
there is no window. There is no other door. Mm. And you feel the ground shake again. And suddenly, through the brickwork, a big crack just runs all the way up the wall and across the ceiling. And <laughs> rubble begins to sprinkle down into the room with you. And that concludes this episode of Escape from Dino Island. Whoa, dinosaurs. Pretty scary, huh? Uh, I really hope you guys are enjoying this and enjoying having some special guests here today. Um, if you want to help us continue to make this, maybe consider becoming a member. What cool times that could be. Until next time, everybody. Goodbye.